Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about sandbags, hyper training. This is like the best resource of power that you can give to your Pokemon. So I'll just give a quick explanation and also give you a trick to use on your main Pokemon. <laughs> As usual, there are some codes on the screen, they are one time only, so if those don't work for you, feel free to join the Discord, the link is in the description, send me a message and I'll send you a code. Starting by the basics, what is sandbags, what is hyper training? So hyper training is a tab over here on your Pokemon that well, once you just use sandbags on it, it will provide you power. You can see for example the stats preview that I have over here. So this means that if I would put the hyper training of my Raikou all the way from level 25 to 30, I would get all of these stats. Now you use hyper training, for example, you use the sandbags. Each one is according to each stat. So you need to level up each stat individually. Usually sandbags and hyper training are unlocked when you unlock this game mode over here, trial captain. And this is where we start talking about how to get sandbags. So this is the first main method and it's the free method every day you can come over here and actually well blitz the trial of type this trial of type will actually give you five sandbags depending on the difficulty as you can see i am on hell difficulty is giving me five sandbags of the specific type that i am battling over here five electric sandbags okay that's awesome and then i have a chance to get more sandbags it's between one and three i got unlucky i just got one over here it's based on luck, uh, it, it does not like, <laughs> you can just select the same chest on the same position over and over again, it should give you different rewards. You always get one keystone by the way, so it's also a daily source of those mega stones. And well, this is the first method. Free method, you just have to defeat each difficulty in order to be able to blitz it. And just as a quick example, now I have over here some sandbags and I can use it on Raikou. And these sandbags got me to level 27, which got me more special attack. There are many other ways you can get yourself sandbags. One of them is going to the stores. If we go over here, we have, for example, the cross server store and the guild store. Guild store uses guild points that you get from doing your normal daily guild missions. And cross server store, it's from, well, playing cross server, cross server battle over here. If you never know when these events happen, my friend made an app that actually notifies you when these events are happening. So check the link in the description, it will have the app over there for you. Other ways of getting sandbags? Well, we have some packs. More specifically, luxury packs, rumble packs. There's probably even more things, but these are like the main packs that you might want to open because these ones you can actually select specifically what you want. So for example, I can come over here to the luxury pack and I can choose the blue sandbags. This will give you an item that you can actually choose the sandbag that you want. Same with rumble pack, it will give you purple sandbags. And if I go down here, I have some purple uh, choosing pack and this is what you have when you open you can actually open it and select the type that you want the type of sandbag that you really want to to get for your pokemon and of course how to get these kinds of packs well the first one is kind of easy and it's the freeway just by spending diamonds over here on the cumulative consumption you get the luxury packs and the rumble pack is for rechargers so we have over here when you do a recharge we have the cumulative recharge you also get a rumble packs and also there's a very nice event for rechargers which is the lucky star that also gives you a lot of rumble packs and still talking about the recharge options of course you have to keep an eye on the cash bundles sometimes there is actually like limited offers with a lot of those uh sandbag packs then we also have we have the daily one right we have the daily one for 15 i believe with 30 of, of those sandbags and there's multiple ones that might show up over here but most likely on the limited offers you just have to keep an eye on that but let's go back to the freeways you also get sandbags for releasing pokemon i just i'm just going over here Ordering my Pokemon by class, for example, I have a lot of Larvitar eggs. Yes, I'm still hunting for the damn shiny Larvitar, and no, I will not give up. <laughs> so you can actually select whatever Pokemons you have, keeping in mind you have a daily limit of sandbags. 
according to the type of the Pokemon. For example, as you can see, C tier Pokemon, A tier Pokemon, you can only exchange 10 Pokemon of these a day. So it's something that you can catch normally without going to the Safari. Now, B tier Pokemon are usually Pokemon to the, from the Safari and you can exchange 99 of those Pokemons a day and they will be transformed into sandbags according to their main type according to the type one so for example imagine that i would actually be crazy enough to just exchange this ash greninja and this ash greninja's type one is water so i will get water sandbags and of course according to each tier of the pokemon that you are exchanging you will also receive different tiers of sandbags and this is where I am going to talk about the trick. Now, for example, I have this beautiful Vaporeon and I have this amazing Drill Burr. Imagine that I want to power up this Drill Burr. As you can see, it still doesn't have anything at all over here. But imagine that I want to power up. One of the things, the other way of getting those sandbags for the Pokemon that you want is that you can actually convert them, right? You can just come over here, for example, you select uh, the purple tier and this will actually show you other purple bags that you might have or you select the blue blue bags and it will actually show you other all the other blue bags that you might have imagine like for example the fire one that i'm not going to use any fire type pokemon anytime soon and you can exchange the the fire sandbags into the sandbags that you want the, in this situation is ground sandbag because i'm selecting a ground type pokemon right this has a cost of 10 diamonds but now imagine that i want to do this with a psychic sandbag as you can see the psychic orange the orange one not does not need is not related to the type okay it's just related to to the rarity of the sandbag there's blue there's purple there's orange the orange one only costs 20 diamonds what is the difference? The difference is that the blue one actually only gives you 50 EXP. What I mean by 50 EXP is like over here when you are powering up the hyper training and I'm going over here to Raikut so that it's easier to understand. Or actually, let's go over here to the Greninja. Greninja, I was not going to use it, but um, in terms of sandbags, I was not going to use sandbags anymore. But you can understand. You look at the EXP bar over here and if I use the blue one, it gives me 50 exp it went from 50 to 100 now the thing is each of these rarities of sandbags give you more exp and the orange one gives you 1000 exp this is where the trick happens this game has some kind of a feature where if you reset your pokemon it tries to compact all the resources including sandbags what can we use this to our advantage now Keeping in mind that one blue sandbag is 50 EXP and one orange sandbag is 1000 EXP, right? Instead of coming over here and actually, for example, converting blue sandbags, imagine from the fire type that I have, I am not going to use it, each one costs 10. Why don't I make myself an orange one and only spend 20 diamonds for it? Let's actually go to a practical example over here. Keeping in mind, I said 50 EXP, 1000 EXP. So I need 20 of blue ones to make 1000 EXP, which is equivalent to an orange one. You will understand this in a bit. We are going over here. I'm only going to click on the blue ones. Now we completed the first level of the hyper training. What we need to do on this Pokemon, it needs to be level 20, by the way. So we are going to level it up to level 20 so level 20 vaporeon you don't need any moves i don't care and on the star up it needs to be at least two stars two stars is so that you can level up your hyper training for the first level and over here i'm going to use two more sandbags one two two blue sandbags this was an equivalent of a total of 20 blue sandbags now what i'm going to do is i'm going to the research and I'm going to the reset option and I'm going to look for that Flareon. If I, I have a feeling I've been calling it Vaporeon. I hope I didn't. <laughs> Let's come over here to the Flareon. And as you can see, these are the rewards that I am getting if I reset this Flareon. And as you can see, it is compacting the resources that I invested on him. So instead of giving me 20 blue sandbags, 
it's giving me one orange sand back and this is where the magic happens if it's low level if if it has low resources it's actually free to reset so you just reset this pokemon you get yourself one orange sand back of whatever you like then you go again to your main pokemon that you want to get to your sand bags on and you go and convert that orange sandbag that you just got for only 20 diamonds this is it now i have myself an orange sandbag and this is why you should not skip any pokemon in the safari because every single pokemon is important each pokemon is one blue sandbag and you can just do this trick later and convert all of your other types of sandbags into the sandbag that you want so yeah this is it this was the trick really hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys on the next video.